Assalamualaikum. Welcome to my channel. Uh, the topic I have selected today for today's video is a case study in general studies. Uh, I have selected this topic for today's video. The topic I have selected today for today's video is a case study in general studies. Sharmin Ubaid Junaid. As you know that uh, there are three case studies in this. Uh, one is Malala Yousaf Zai, and second is Sharmin Ubaid Junaid, and third is Mukhara Mai. So we are going to start with Sharmin Ubaid Junaid. Okay. So moving towards introduction, uh, basically she is well known for her work in films highlighting the equality, inequality, and violence against women, and is uh, actually it is reverse referred as uh, ardent supporter of issues issues of Pakistani subjugated women like all around the uh, Pakistan in particular and general in all around the world. Uh, she is Pakistani journalist also. a uh, filmmaker activist she is well known for her contributions in uh, pointing out like uh, different national and international problems um, another fact is she is uh, also muslim and belongs to karachi uh, she is famous worldwide for her contribution and activism through the concerning multiple issues like introduction this is her brief introduction uh, now moving towards her background and the whole scenario of her life basically she was born in karachi on 12th november 1976 her father sheikh ubaid was a businessman who died in 2010 and her mother um, her name was uh, yes sawa ubaid uh, she is also a social worker she obtained her early schooling from karachi and later on uh, studied mass communication from stanford university in the united states she completed her bachelor in journalism from smith college in 2002 uh, this was her early background uh, now uh, we are going towards the profession beginning of professional life shermin returned to pakistan after completing her graduation she launched and her career as a filmmaker basically she starts her work as a filmmaker her first film was the new york times with the title of terror children like she signed the movie in united states basically her uh, degree was in mass communication so uh, probably she did that uh, chinoy made two award winning films in 2003 and 2004 uh, along with a graduate student of stanford Um, as i have already said that she was uh, while well, she was a student at stanford university and she along with her friends our fellows uh, filmed a movie with the name of terrors children uh, now moving toward her professional career sharmin along uh, sharmin began a long association with the pbs tv series frontline world where she reported on razor's edge in 2004 and went on to the next 5 years to produce many broadcast reports okay i hope this uh, i hope this thing was clear to you and uh, now we are going to talk about her notable films and visual contributions like sharmin produced many other remarkable films other than terror children for the and two her, two of her films were award winning films her most notable film was include the children for the second is the lost generation third is afghanistan unveiled and similarly and the saving face a girl in a river and the price of forgiveness and many more also include the academy award for the best short subject documentary 2010 and 2016 she uh, so there is a huge list of her awards she got and the animated adventure she also uh, filmed a very adventure uh, which was very famous among children her name uh, its name was teen bahadur and basically it was a story of three kids Uh, film main characters uh, they were film main characters uh, they face the challenges that come their way she expressed her views that there is no 
any superhero everyone lives her uh, layer is a superhero uh, basically she was of the view that uh, no real hero exists in the world everyone have to be his own superhero okay reasons for fame that she has six uh, she has won six emmy awards including two in international emmy award for current fair documentaries category for the film pakistan taliban generation and saving face like the uh, two movies were aiming Sharmeen is among one of the 11 uh, female directors who have ever won an Oscar for non-fiction film. Like she is the uh, she is also the non-American to win the Living it's an Award for the Young Journalist. Like it is an award for only Americans, and she was the first non-American to win this award. 2015 animated series Teen Bahadur made her the first Pakistani to make a computer animated feature film. Actually. I also watched that movie. Very, very interesting movie. Halal Imtiaz. Uh, this is a Christian of distinction. Uh, on 23rd of the March. 23rd March 2012. The President of Pakistan conferred the highest civilian award. The Halal Imtiaz on Shirmeen Ubaid Chanoy. For uh, bringing honor to Pakistan as a filmmaker. Like she was the first to make this film. Uh, he, her work for awareness and renowned contribution was highly appreciated. Uh, next heading is world world recognition. Um, as you are seeing the pattern that you have to move from journal to specific or specific to journal. Like here, uh, first of all, I will have discuss about her background, then her early life, then her movie's name, then her awards, then what. Uh, national awards after that i'll talk about uh, worldwide recognition like time magazine uh, and time magazine posted uh, um, named the sharmin in the its annual list of 100 most influential person in the world people in the world for the 2012 she also served as the ambassador of blood safety for pakistan national blood safety program so you can guess how multi-talented she is. Uh, another award is the Humanitarian Award. On September 11, 2015, Journey of Thousand Miles Peacekeepers. Uh, she made a documentary. This name is Journey of Thousand Miles Peacekeepers. A feature documentary by her along with Geeta Gandhi was uh, screened on the Toronto International Film Festival for its North American premiere. The after that uh, follows the journey of three Bangladeshi women soldiers which were deployed in Haiti as a part of UN's keeping mission. I hope you are understanding this. Uh, the film also premiered in the, at the Mumbai first uh, Film Festival later in uh, 17, I think 17 February 2015. The film was also screened at the United Nations headquarters in New York as a part of discussion of women and the then United Nations Secretary was Ban Ki Moon. Okay, the documentary won the Humanitarian Award at the uh, River Run International Film Festival on April 2016 and also won award at the Bentovili Film Festival in May 2016. After that, her um, huge milestone was to win. Oscar Award, okay. Uh, she won an Oscar for another short subject documentary she made on acid attacks in Pakistan. Apart from two Oscars, she has won two Emmy Awards for a documentary in 2010 and 2013. Soon after, she won her first Oscar. Okay, uh, next, her contributions Shermin Bachnoy helped many and found the citizen of. Uh, Citizen Archive of Pakistan, a non-profit volunteer organization that fosters and pro promotes community-wide interest in the culture and history of Pakistan. The Citizen's Archive works with thousands of children. Uh, another achievement was to know consider honor killing as a taboo, in subject, taboo subject in Pakistan. Another movie by her, A Girl in the River, The Price of forgiveness contributed in highlighting the issue of honor killing like a girl in a river the price of forgiveness 
like honor killing is a uh, tradition uh, which were girls are killed on the name of honor the film traces the story of 18 year old girl saba who was shot by her relatives to redeem their family honor and dumped into the river she miraculously survived to tell the story and uh, then we are going to talk about uh, criticism sharmeen has contributed a lot for the movement issues and the world has recognized her for their her efforts on the other hand she has faced stinging criticism hatred mocking and trolling by her own people like pakistani people she has been criticized for doing dirty laundry in the public like uh, women issues the issue that uh, pakistani people are reluctant to talk about this and uh, she has been blamed for the exploiting pakistani pakistan vulnerable aspect to achieve fame raising above such Victoria Sharmeen, Sharmeen faceless, uh, fearlessly continues with her work. Let's imagine how brave she is. Uh, we are moving towards conclusion. Sharmeen Rebecca exemplifies the woman who try to change their environment by the sheer force of her will. They do not ponder on the dilapidated condition of their surrounding but strive to act and make these voices in the their own countries and across the globe sharmeen truly deserves the spot not just among women who created an impact and changed the world for the better but also for being an inspiring human being as described by rahat imran in his publication activist documentary film in pakistan the emergence of cinema of accountability Uh, here is her brief introduction and her achievements and her criticism uh, i hope you all are uh, you all can write on this but hardly a question is going to appear like uh, i just have seen the malala yousaf zai yes 2016 to 2023 the paper i have seen and that's all for today thank you so much love is